I'm Ali Luera and I'm a professional mixed martial artist. And Ryan, she's putting together a good combination. Body check. Valerie Lorena. So I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. And my dad has had a taekwondo school in Miami for 34 years. So I was born into the sport. I had no other option than to become a martial artist. I was always training with my father at the school training as hard as I can with all the boys until I started winning national championships, USA qualifiers. Everyone kind of realized I really had a talent for the sport, but a very different talent, not just as a taekwondo fighter, but as a very aggressive martial artist, just like my father was. A lot of people don't know this, but back in the day, I did grapple. I didn't just do taekwondo. My dad used to put me back to back with boys and we would go three, two, one, and we would just start wrestling, and I would come out with scratches everywhere, and my mom would be very upset because we were girls, we weren't boys. But that's why my mom also put me into dance and ballet at three years old. So I was a very intense ballerina, and I was extremely intense as a martial artist, and that's kind of how I became who I am today. Well, she's not just a Taekwondo stylist. She has that skill set, but she has become a mixed martial artist. Being very young and being very feminine in the sport, I was always around boys. To me, boys were a challenge to beat boys, to make boys cry, to break boys' ribs. It was always like my glory, like my, my happiness, to prove my dad happy. Oh, look, Papa, I'm tougher than a boy because I made him cry today, you know? I would fight in qualifiers. I would do the whole female division. I would win four fights in a row, and then my dad would put me into the male division. I was also a ballerina at the same time, so I guess my feminine side, I would express myself through dancing, and when I was in Taekwondo, I would transform into a different fighter. And I feel that way when I get into the cage now. I feel like myself, I take fight week like a beauty pageant. And as soon as I step in the cage, I feel like I transform and I turn into a martial artist. And you know, I'm, I'm in this for, I, I really want to pursue this career, take me seriously. And that's basically how I gained my respect in the sport. I'm here to conquer, I'm here to take over Bellator and that boat will be mine very soon. So my dad's Taekwondo school was a family business. You know, my dad's a grandmaster, my mom's a black belt, I'm a fourth degree master, my sister's a fourth degree master, and my little sister's a second don Taekwondo um, black belt. So it was always a family business. While I was pursuing my career and my passion in Taekwondo, my mom got diagnosed with AML leukemia and basically she was the rock in our family, in our business. And when that happened, we all really just, we didn't know what to do with ourselves. We went down, our whole lives changed. Um, the school wasn't the same. My sister's life weren't the same and we just dropped everything so my mom could win this fight. We've been fighting our whole lives and now my mom had to fight for her own life. It was the hardest experience that my family has ever had to go through, but honestly watching my mom overcome this illness in order to be there for me and my sisters really gave me the biggest drive and motivation that I still carry with me every day today to change her life and to give her the life she deserves. It really opened my eyes to my career and what I wanted to do for myself and my life. And it started just opening a different door for me into a different platform that it was gonna allow me to show the world who I was and allow me to change my family's lives.